What is going on fellow game developers? My name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be continuing our 2D RPG top-down game and we're going to be adding in camera movement so when we our player moves around the scene the camera will follow him smoothly and we'll also be fixing a small bug with the enemy which um, some of you may have noticed from the last video so let's start off with fixing the enemy so if we click on the enemy let's just turn off debug mode and if we just double click to open up his script here we are now inside script we set up this on collision stay and if the enemy is attacking or inside of the player attacking him um, this will be called constantly but one thing we didn't counter for is every single time we stop colliding and we're no longer staying when you recollide he will not attack still so to fix that we're going to just copy this whole command we're going to paste the buff and we're going to change the stay to be enter 2d hit save and that is everything we need to do so all we're going to do is if we can attack when we first hit the player we will attack um, because when you first collide with the um, player you will be able to attack so we want to make sure we can do that straight away the second thing we're going to fix is we made all our movement inside of update now this is okay but when it comes to camera movement it will be jittery if it's not the same as the player so what we're going to do is we're going to put his movement inside a fixed update because if we look at our player movement it is inside a fixed update now this way it will stop any sort of jittery player or enemy movement so let's go back and wait for these scripts to reload and now if we just play you probably won't notice anything but as soon as he hits the player he will now be getting ready to attack rather than waiting a few milliseconds for the stay to be triggered obviously it's not a massive thing and it probably won't really be noticeable but the big one is the actual movement from um, update to fixed so let's start adding in our camera movement now the camera movement we're going to be using cinemachine 2d to get this we need to go up to our package manager we need to go to the unity registry and we need to search for cinema machine so if i just close this you'll probably be seeing this screen right here so to change this we're just going to click at the top click on unity registry and then search for cinema machine and there you go we get it here 2.6.3 is the current top version so we're just going to click install now this will install all the packages we need to be able to use the cinema machine uh, library and once that's done we're going to create a virtual a 2d virtual uh, camera so let's just close that that's now done so at the top here, if we hover you'll see we've now got this cinema machine now what we could do is create a 2d camera we can drag this to the top just for placement it doesn't actually have to be at the top and on the right here let's just make sure it's on normal mode you can see we have this virtual machine now let's just research transform um, and we need to set its follow so we're going to grab the player and we're going to drag it into the follow script which means our camera will now follow our player now we can mess around with these values but I find leaving them as is for a simple game like this works really well so let's just test this what this has done so let's just hit play and now as we move around you can see so does our camera now we have a bit of leeway so if we move left we you can see the camera won't snap and it won't be super um snappy which you know it's it's all right being snappy but it can give you a headache now this is a much more smoother approach and it works really well and now if our enemy follows as you can see he's follow follow follows us pretty well i just want to quickly show you what would happen if we didn't swap from fixed update and we left it as update in our enemy script so let's go back wait for the scripts to reload and now let's hit play now if we start moving can you see that jittery look on the enemy he's like jittering about it looks really bad um yeah so basically because the player movement is set in fixed update and the camera is following our player movement it makes the actual enemies or anything else which is using the update method look jittery like that so as I said, to fix that, we just needed to move it into fixed update. Let's just hit play one last time. There we go. Oh, that did not work. There you go. 
and there you go now he follows us a lot smoother so that's going to be it for this video guys it was a short one but it's just a simple adding a follow a camera follow to our player in the next video we'll look into some maybe attacking so our player can attack the enemy um, would you guys want to see sword gameplay so if we add a sword to our player or would you prefer to see a gun gameplay so we can add guns to shoot between each other let me know what you guys want to see in the comments and we will see about adding that in but for now guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it smash that subscribe button and if you have any comments or questions or you get stuck at any point then drop me a comment down below Oh, and also don't forget to join the Discord server. It's a complete coding community. It's not just aimed at gaming, but there is a gaming and a coding aspect to it. Um, and there'll be a lot more updates coming soon to more incorporate the game development side of things. So don't forget to join Discord. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.